don't know, Mad Viking Beard Club. I'm growing my beard. More patchy adventures, mostly negative. I did, oh, by the way, found the tripod. All right, welcome back. This is update number two. This is the growing a patchy beard uh, two week update. So it's been one week since the last one. I don't think a lot's gone on or changed as far as that's concerned. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of growth. So after this, it's probably going to move more to you know monthly to even bi-monthly because nobody wants to watch grass grow. You know, it's something that I'm interested on my end. It's my own thing, but to anyone watching, <coughs> they're going to be spread out further. There will be one update between now and maybe the next one, which will be a month or, or even a little longer when there's more to show. But there will be an update between then and now uh, because I actually have subscribed to Dollar Beard Club. Really catchy commercials. Um, they seem to have pretty solid products made with all natural ingredients. So, um, and for a dollar, I ordered beard oil. But yeah, so if it keeps, if it continues to grow and really isn't filling any more than this on the right side, uh, then I would say probably within the next month or two, I'll be forced to shave it. I did, oh, by the way, on the tripod. Son is playing over there with his toys, and it's very distracting. Hi. Hi. He's just wondering why the TV has no sound. But if this side were to fill in as much as this side, which I feel is my better side, uh, then then you'll see updates throughout the months because I will I will do what I can to manage it and hold on to it. It's just that if it doesn't fill in any more than that, if it remains that patchy. That I feel it, there's just not going to be a way for me to keep it looking professional and to um, move forward with a career with just mange face, you know. So, but we'll see. I'm kind of hopeful. Um, when I hear, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard people say, you know. It, it takes up to 12 weeks just to just to see what's going to grow in. Period. Some hair follicles go into a dormant cycle. Um, shaving every day, you know, you get muscle memory working out, or or through doing things repetitively, that shaving every day, that you, you actually get kind of like a facial hair follicle memory. And that the fact that I've been shaving down bald <laughs> every single day, it could affect it, it could affect um, almost as if bald those would be apprehensive about growing. I don't know, but we'll see if it if it can remain professional looking if I can if I can do it I'm gonna do it like I said, like I just want to say I like I'm not growing someone else's beard I didn't pick a movie star beard that that, that I want to um, grow I'm growing my beard so it's 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 gonna look like mine it's not gonna look like anybody else's <clears throat> I'm just not sure yet if, if my beard what I grow naturally is something that I can I can uh, contain in a professional environment, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sort of hopeful we'll, um, like I said again, two two weeks, I don't think there's much of a difference right now at the two-week point to, to keep it, to keep it going. Um, as far as weekly updates, I feel that it, it monthly to bi-monthly will be more appropriate, and then I'll review any products that I, I tend to get my hands on. Um, so I'm excited to do a review uh, on the sandalwood beard oil from the dollarbeard.com. Also, I mean, anyone who's starting out, I can, I can give you a pretty good idea through my videos of what to expect when bearding. First couple of days, it actually doesn't look bad. It looks like a just a scruff of hot pot shadow. Um, by the end of the first week, it, it, it's, for me, it got very itchy very uncontrollably itchy and I kept using a brush it will absolutely absolutely be the best way to go as far as uh, relieving that uh, also getting a beard oil which I don't have at the moment I will and um, what else to ex expect when bearding uh, yet yeah, itch a ton of comments a ton of comments by week two I just just a ton of comments um, mostly negative <laughs> the truth, but I have a patchy beard, 
so I'm gonna get a lot of negative comments. You don't have the genetics. Why didn't you shave? You should shave. What's wrong with it? Just simply, you don't look good. You know, not, not a whole lot of confidence boosters thrown at me in the first two weeks. So, what to expect when bearding? Negative comments. It's gonna happen. Uh, you're gonna wanna shave it off. You're going to look like shit. Dry skin, itching, irritating. It's just gonna happen, you know? That's part of the game. So I hope these videos are, I hope these videos are gonna be helpful. Uh, I hope, I'm already learning a lot, a whole lot. Uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, on on Facebook, even. I'm in the uh, Mad Viking Beard Club. I have to look it up. Remember. So, on Facebook, uh, on Facebook, the Mad Viking Beard and Mustache Club. There's also uh, a Mad Viking Berserkers Club for active duty uh, military members or veterans, and then uh, a whole lot of helpful stuff. And then a, a Mad Viking New York Club. And I've gotten just a ton of help through those guys, through through those guys and girls, and everybody who's uh, members on those pages. A lot of really good information. <clears throat> What's wrong? My son is getting very bored with this process altogether. So we're gonna we're gonna go play. Okay. Yeah. Um, stay tuned. More to come. Product reviews. More patchy adventures and uh more tips on what to expect when bearding all right thank you everybody and uh i hope this was in any way helpful see you in the future